Good morning. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Our celebrant this morning is Father Don, and we remember in a very special way, Roger and Morgan Martinez. Please stand for our entrance antiphon. Your merciful love, O God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Good morning to all of you at home as well. Coming together as God's family, let us ask the Father's forgiveness for his little gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you came to gather us into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. You come and pour it in sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ have mercy. Christ Lord, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life at last. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who sent the power of the gospel like leaven into the world, grant that your faithful, whom you have called to live amid the world and its affairs, may be fervent with the Christian spirit, and through the tasks they carry out in this present age, may constantly build up your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob gave his sons this charge. Since I am about to be taken to my people, bury me with my fathers in the cave that lies in the field of Ephraim the Hittite, the cave in the field of Machpelah, facing on Mamre in the land of Canaan, the field that Abraham brought from Ephraim the Hittite for a burial ground. There Abraham and his wife Sarah are buried, and so are Isaac and his wife Rebekah. And there too I buried Leah, the field and the cave in it that had been purchased from the Hittites. Now that their father was dead, Joseph's brothers became fearful and thought, Suppose Joseph has been nursing a grudge against us and now plans to pay us back in full for all the wrong we did him. So they approached Joseph and said, Before your father died, he gave us these instructions. You shall say to Joseph, Jacob begs you to forgive the criminal wrongdoing of your brothers who treated you so cruelly. Please, therefore, forgive the crime was that we, the servants of your father's God, committed. When they spoke these words to him, Joseph broke into tears. Then his brothers proceeded to fling themselves down before him and said, Let us be your slaves. But Joseph replied to them, Have no fear. Can I take the place of God? Even though you meant harm to me, God meant it for good, to achieve his present end, the survival of many people. Therefore, have no fear. I will provide for you and for your children. By thus speaking kindly to them, he reassured them. Joseph remained in Egypt, together with his father's family. He lived 110 years. He saw Ephron's children to the third generation, and the children of Manasseh's son, Machir, where he also was born on Joseph's knees. 
Joseph said to his brothers, I am about to die. God will surely take care of you and lead you out of this land to the land that he promised on an oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then putting the sons of Israel under oath, he continued, when God thus takes care of you, you must bring my bones up with you from this place. Joseph died at the age of 110. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. Be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Be glad, you lonely ones, may your hearts be glad. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Be glad, you lonely ones, may your hearts be glad. You descendants of Abraham, his servant, sons of Jacob, his holy one, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Be glad, you lowly ones, may your hearts be glad. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Spirit of God rest upon you. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. <clears throat> Jesus said to his apostles, No disciple is above his teacher, no slave above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher, for the slave that he become like his master. If they've called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more those of his household? Therefore, do not be afraid of them. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid, you are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my Heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my Heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Our writer this morning tells us that one of my, his college professors refused to use the word test in his class. Instead, he insisted that all exams and quizzes were simply celebrations of knowledge. While one might simply dismiss this as comical wordplay, my teacher knew exactly what he was doing. In essence, he was telling us not to be afraid. When we're not inhibited by fear, we're able to meet challenges with optimism and hope. 
confident in ourselves and in our abilities. In today's Gospel, Jesus tells his disciples, do not be afraid. Actually, Jesus repeats these words three times throughout the reading, echoing this idea that discipleship is not easy. If we allow ourselves to become overwhelmed by anxiety and fear, however, we can never fully live and love in Christ. With this, we must ask ourselves two questions. First, what are we afraid of? And second, where do we notice God's healing presence calming our fears and inviting us to hope? Mindful of the world's need for God's mercy and grace, let us bring our prayers before Him. For the Church and her mission of discipleship and building God's kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders and civil servants, may God bless them with a purity of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who face crippling fear and anxieties, may God bring them peace and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may God help us witness the fullness of his love to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may God's peace be with them as they enter the heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those persons whose names are written in our box of petitions and for all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we ask you to hear and answer our prayers in your gracious mercy. Through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. My friends, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God our Father Almighty. Save the whole world by the sacrifice of your Son. Grant through the power of this oblation that your servants living in the lay state whom you do not cease to call to the apostolate may imbue the world with the Spirit of Christ and be the leaven of its sanctification through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
with you. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our paraphrases add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, 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 You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them when do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and then willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Pope Francis and Sir Gerald and all leaders of the church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him, in the name of God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And give us not unto temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's acknowledge to each other our desire for peace.
Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the only who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should be my word, but only say the word, and my soul will tell me. The communion and the bond. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him.
Let us pray. As we draw upon the fullness of your grace, we pray, Lord, that your faithful, who by your will are engaged in the things of this world, may be strengthened by the power of the Eucharistic banquet to be tireless witnesses to the truth of the gospel, and may ever make your church present and active amid the affairs of this age. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace of Christ. Thank you. Have a nice day. Amen. You and all thank you for joining with us this morning. After this, we're leaving legal. We'll begin the uh, novena. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing, who reigns now in heaven with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria, in heaven the blessed your glory proclaim, on earth we your children invoke your fair name. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Most holy and active virgin and our mother Mary, you are our perpetual help, our refuge, and our hope. We come to you today. We thank God for all the graces received through your intercession. Mother of perpetual help, we promise to love you always and to do all we can to lead others to you. Mother of perpetual help, confident of your powerful influence with God, obtain for us these graces. The strength to overcome temptation, a perfect love for Jesus Christ, and a holy death so that we will live with you, Son, for all eternity. Let us pray to be open to God's word. Mary of perpetual help, you continually sought the meaning of God's words and actions in your life. As we listen to God's words, may the Holy Spirit enlighten our understanding and give us the courage to put his words into practice in our daily lives. Let us kneel to pray as a community of faith. Mary, all generations have called you blessed. The Almighty has done great things for you. Mother of perpetual help, we call upon your most powerful name. Your very name inspires confidence and hope. May it always be on our lips, especially in the time of temptation and in the hour of our death. Blessed Lady, help us whenever we call on you. Let us not be content with merely pronouncing your name. May our daily lives proclaim that you are our mother and our perpetual help. Let us pray for our temporal walks. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence we kneel before you. We implore your help in the problems of our daily lives. Trials and sorrows often depress us. Misfortunes and afflictions bring misery into our lives. Everywhere we meet the cross, comfort your afflicted. Beg your Son, Jesus, to strengthen us as we bear our burdens and to free us from our sufferings. For it will be the will of God that we should suffer no longer. Help us endure all the love and patience as we follow the example of your Son, and through him, with him, and in him, commend ourselves to the care of our Heavenly Father. Let us stand now to present our petitions and our thanks. Lord Jesus Christ, at a word from Mary, your mother, you changed water to wine and came in Galilee. Listen now to the people of God gathered here to honor our mother of perpetual help. Grant our petitions and accept our sincere thanks. Grant wisdom and guidance to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Gerald, our priests, and all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. 
Grant peace and unity throughout the world, especially in our homes and families. Grant that young people respond generously to the call of the Holy Spirit in deepening their faith and choosing their vocation in life. Hear us, Lord, to marry our mother. Grant us continued help of mind and body and help the sick to regain their health according to your holy will. Hear us, Lord, to marry our mother. Grant eternal rest to all of our deceased and to the souls of all the faithful who are here. Hear us, Lord, to marry our mother. Let us pause on this happily present our own petitions to our late mother of perpetual health. Lord, accept our thanks for the new life of grace you gave us. We thank you, Lord, to Mary, our mother. Accept our thanks for all the graces received through the sacrament of life of the church. We thank you, Lord, to Mary, our mother. Accept our thanks for the spiritual and material blessings we have received. We thank you, Lord, to Mary, our mother. Let us pause on the sacrament we thank our mother for special help for our own favors received. Amen. 
centuries through.